So welcome back aliens, this is Navin Reddy from Talisco Learnings and in this video we'll talk about least view. So whenever you, whenever you have your mobile phone, let's say if you're working on uh, your mobile phone and if, if, you see, uh, if you open an application which is your contacts, you can see we get lots of contacts right? and all those contacts are in a format of least view. Uh, if you use a recent call log, so everything is least view, right? So we'll try to implement least view in this video. So for that, we need to first create an activity. So we'll say new activity, which is empty activity here. And we'll name this activity as list view activity. And that sounds good. So we have list view activity here. We'll click on finish. And okay, so we have our activity here with the XML file. So in this, we require a list view. Now how to include a list view? So basically list view is the grouping of items in a vertical format. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll take list view. So you can see once you scroll down in the containers, you can find list view there. Just drag your list view on the screen. And this is how it looks like. So we have, okay. So we have list item one, item two, item three. And if I run this code, we can see the same output on the emulator. But we don't want to see the same output. What we want is a different set of values here. And once we get the values, once you click on this button, any 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 uh, item, it should show that item the toast so that we can also achieve the listener. Now, how to do that? So we have to follow certain, certain steps here. The first step is you have to link this view. For that, we have to provide the ID. Uh, we already have an ID, which is least view two. We'll say this is programming or uh, prog list that's my uh, list name so it's prog list and here what i will do i will mention uh, the avocate object of first i, will, I need to create or provide a reference for the list view so this is list view oh that's list view it's list view control space yeah so this list view space we can provide any name we'll say lv okay and here we need to provide the object or the a memory for list view so we'll say this is list view and our default code which is find view by id we have to say r dot id dot that's programming list right so everything you 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 do with this lv it will affect on that programming list now whenever you want to insert some value so what values i want to insert so this is my this is my view here so that's my view i want to insert some values now what values i want to insert the programming language names Okay, so for that I will create a array of string which will hold the programming uh, languages name. So we'll say string values equal to uh, we can provide directly an array and we can say the first language it's a uh, or instead of having yeah so we can say C language then we can have C++ we can have what uh, Java yeah, we can also include Android here, right? And then we can say, uh, should I take C sharp? That will be a crime, right? But still, let's do it. And then we can add last one, or we need to add lots of, right? So we'll say assembly, then we'll say Python, right? Some more, we have Ruby, uh, we have VB, and one more, okay, last one more. So we'll say this is Scala. Okay, so that's the programming language names. Now I want to show this list on the list view. So if I try, so if I say LV dot, so normally when you want to add values, how we add, we can simply say LV dot, we can use add. So you can see there's no option of adding these values. How can you add a normal array into a list? Uh, that's not possible directly and that's why list view follows something called as adapter. So whenever you want to add values into the list view, we need to use something called as adapter. So there are, there, there are certain types of adapters we can use. We can use array adapter. We can use simple cursor adapter and there are multiple adapters we can use. Uh, whenever you want to fetch data from an array, so if you have an array and you want to set that values to the list, we need to use array adapter. When you have, when you want to work with database, so let's say you have a phone database, you have 
SQLite. So you'll be using something called as cursor. So this simple cursor adapter will be used for when you want to fetch the data from the contacts or phone contacts. Since we have an array here, we, have, we need to use something called as array adapter. And in order, so before, before setting the value, so let's say this is list view dot. So let's say if I'm using an adapter, we can simply say set add adapter. And in this, you have to pass the object of list adapter. So you can see that we have to pass an object of adapter. So instead of passing object of list adapter, I will pass object of add adapter. We can pass any adap adapter, right? So now question arises: how to create object of adapter. So it's very simple. We can say array adapter. And we can, uh, we can provide a name for this. We'll say this is uh, add adapter itself equal to, we'll say new add adapter. And we can pass, we need to pass three values here. So if you can see the construct, the constructor of uh, add adapter, it will ask you for three parameters. First is the context. And we can say the current instance is the current context. So we can pass this. The second thing is we have to mention the type of uh, list we can say simple list which is one simple list two so we have multiple choice and the third one is the values so we'll say the first one is this which is the context the second one is the type of value so we can say android oh not that one so that's android dot r dot layout dot so there's a, there's a there are multiple option we, we have we have list simple list item one we have simple list item two and all the stuff will take the simple one which is simple list item one now the third parameter was the values right but the thing is if i mention values here and okay so if you mention values here uh, it will okay will it work okay so we can even pass values or for the better way we can pass the list of values so instead of passing string array we can pass the list of values. How to do that? Just convert this list into, how, to convert this array into list, we can say arrays dot to list. Is it working? Arrays dot to list. Do we have this method here? Hold on. Something is wrong. So we can provide the bracket. It is arrays dot yeah, so it is add li as list and we can pass values. So which will convert your array into list. Right? Now once we once we got the array list, we can set the array adapter here. Simple, right? And that's how we will we will get these elements on the screen. Now let's try it out. Let's run this code. It will take some time to load. So what we are doing here, we are just passing these values. Okay, so we are we have this set of programming languages. We want to show these values on the screen, which is your array, uh, which is your list view. And to do that, we need to create a array adapter, which will hold some values. So to create an object of array adapter, you have to pass three parameters. The first one is the, uh, the context, which is this. Second is the layout type, which is simple. And the third one is the values. But the values you have to pass in a list format. So we have to say list, and you can specify values. And if I open my emulator now, and there are no values. The, the problem is we have opened a wrong activity. So we'll go to Android manifest. So you can see we have what list view activity, which is here. So I want this to be the first activity to load. So I will cut this part which is a launcher part we'll paste it here and we'll remove this one also i think it should work now run okay so let's see what happens uh, if you're not comfortable with this method to convert uh, values into list uh, you can also do one more thing you can use a for loop and you can fetch the values from the array and you can put it in the list as that's one way you can do that okay let's see if you're getting so you can see we got the output as C C++ Java Android and all the stuff right now what I want next what I what what I want here if I click on this button which is or if I click on this view which is C++ so you can see I'm clicking but nothing is happening right if I if I click on assembly nothing is happening if I click on VB nothing is going on now to achieve that thing what I want I 
once you click on that C or C++ button or the item, it should print a toast with that name. For that, we need to add the listener to the view. So we can say LV dot set on click listener in which you need to provide on click listener. Oh, it is not on click. It is on item click listener. Okay. And then we can say it is new on item click listener. So that's the that's the method name, which is on item click. So what you just have to type on item click. It will and control space automatically you will get the code. And now here we need to just print the toast, right? We can say toast dot make te test text, and we can pass the parameters. We can say uh, not the main activity, but least view activity dot this. Then we need to pass the second parameter as the message you want to show. So you have to, we can say uh, you clicked, and then the item we want to show. But I don't know which item is clicked. So let's say you click on let's say you are clicking on C. So the position of C will be the initial value, which is zero, right? So this zero will be coming here in the position and you can fetch the value from the list now. But since unfortunately we don't have list, so we'll use array, so we'll say values. In bracket you can specify the position, right? And then, so that's the position you have. Okay, so there's an error here, so that's values. Oh, we cannot use values because it is, so let's make it final. Okay, so we, uh, you can uh, you can only access those variables which are uh, in the inner class or in the anonymous class if they are final. Next, we have to mention is the what? Well, what next? We have to mention the length. So we'll say keep it short, and then at the end we'll say dot show. Now, if I run this code, let's see what's what what output will be getting. So it is opening the window after running, so it will take some time. Now if I click on Android, so you can see we, we are able to see you clicked Android. If I click on Python, it says you clicked Python. If you click on Scala, it is you clicked Scala. So that is from this video. This is how you uh, use list. But before going out, let me ask you a question. So normally in, in every video, you'll be having now a question. So the, the question for this video is who is the founder of Facebook. Okay, so if you know the answer, just comment in the comment section and let's see who gives the answer first. So thank you so much for watching and do subscribe for further videos.